shall we begin? Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to create this really cool creative business card that you can see in here. And what that means is that it can be used for any job or business that you're having. So this is the front of our business card and this is the back. And we'll be using Adobe Photoshop to create it. All right, fantastic, so let's get to it. All right, so open Adobe Photoshop and go to File New. And we're gonna create a new document with the standard width and height for a business card. So I'm gonna put 3.5 inch for the width and 2 inches for the height and 300 in the resolution and of course CMYK in the color mode. I'm gonna press OK. Alright, now the first thing we're gonna do is to add a bleed to our business card. Now there's a lot of way to do this but I'm gonna show you another way like to make uh, the bleed really quickly. So we'll go to image and I'm gonna choose canvas size in here. And I'm gonna switch this to inches and I'm gonna add 0.25 inch into width and height. So I'm gonna put 3.75 inch for the width and 2.25 inch in the height. And this point in here, just make sure it's in the middle and the background, uh, just you know, choose whatever color you want, maybe a green color in here. All right, and I'm gonna press OK. As you can see, this will add this green border for us in here as a bleed it's really easy to do now I'm, I'm gonna just unlock this background by pressing alt double click and I will just delete this white rectangle that we have in here I'm gonna press delete and you can see we got ourselves a, a bleed in no time all right now I'm gonna add a guides in here so I can uh, uh, see where the bleed is so we'll, uh, if you didn't find the rulers in your uh, Photoshop, just press Ctrl R on your keyboard or you know just go to view and make sure rulers in here is checked. Alright, now we'll add one guide like this and another one like so. Now we'll just name this bleed and then we'll lock it. But now we'll add uh, a safe area so we can work on so we we'll add another guide in here and another one like that all right now i'm going to you can just uncheck this so we'll see exactly where what is going on all right now we're going to create a background so we we'll go to the rectangle in here and i will draw a rectangle as a background all right Something like so. All right, I'm gonna change the color to this uh, dark gray in here. So I'm gonna uh, mess with the CMYK colors in here. So we'll put 74 for the cyan and 67 in the magenta and 66 in the yellow and 85 in the black. And we'll have this uh, dark gray color in here. So I'm, press, I'm gonna press OK. And I will call this background. Now, I'm gonna create the front of our business card. So I'm gonna just put this bleed in the top in here. And I'm gonna start creating this line that we have in the front. So I will go to the ellipse tool in here. And I'm gonna create an elliptical to circle like this. Alright, so we're gonna need this curve that we have in this elliptical circle like this. I'm gonna press Ctrl T. I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit like so. So we'll have this curve. Alright, something like that. I'm gonna make a copy of it. So I'm gonna press Ctrl J. I'm gonna change the color of this one into this red color in here so i'm gonna put the values in the cmyk in here so i'm gonna put 22 percent in the cyan and 100 percent in the magenta and 100 percent in the yellow and 220 percent in the black as you can see we have this uh, red color in here i'm gonna put it right here let me just put it down under this one i'm gonna press ctrl t so i can rotate it all right something like so something like that 
I'm gonna change the color of this white to this uh, background color that we have I'm gonna select them both I'm gonna press ctrl T I'm gonna try to make them in here all right something like so all right something like that I'm gonna make a copy of the, the both of them by pressing ctrl J again I'm gonna press ctrl T I'm gonna take one put it in here I'm gonna rotate it like so that all right something like that all right now we go to this red one in here I'm gonna make a layer style to it I'm gonna double click to it and I will go to the inner glow in here and I'm gonna change the color to the black color I'm gonna change the blending mode to multiply I'm gonna put 7 pixels in the size I'm just gonna this will add this little bit of kind of shadow to this maybe like that all right I'm gonna press ok I'm gonna make a copy of the same layer side by pressing alt I'm gonna take it and drag it into this red one in here and as you can see this will create this shadow like this all right, now we have done with our shapes. I'm gonna make a group by pressing Ctrl G, and I will call this shapes. Now I'm gonna show you how to create the logo. So we'll go to this polygon in here, and then we will make the size to eight, and we're gonna create a new one like that by pressing Shift. All right, I'm gonna put it in here, and now I'm gonna press alt on my keyboard and I will create a new one and what this does is will create uh, it will extract this polygon from the same polygon that we just created so it will make a cut so we'll have a hole in this polygon as in the shape of a polygon all right something like that now I'm gonna press ctrl shift so I can make a selection of the same the both polygon that we just have in here and I will go to, to what I call the, the Pathfinder of Photoshop in here and I will uh, choose Merge Shape Component and this will uh, create uh, our uh, this shape for us now I'm gonna press Ctrl Alt T and I'm gonna press Alt and then we'll drag so I will make a copy of the same shape that we just created but we are still inside of the same uh, vector layer that we have in here as you can see all right, I'm gonna press enter and as you can see we have now this created in the same layer in here All right, so I will go back and I will select the both and I will go and I'm gonna choose the ellipse tool in here and I will create a new circle but this time I'm gonna press shift so I will add it in the same uh, layer that we have like that all right this big and then we'll release and as you can see we have it in here in the same shape I'm gonna select them all and I will go back and I'm gonna merge shape component again and I'm gonna press yes and now we have it as a shape in here so we'll change it to this red color that we have in here alright now I'm gonna try to add some lines to this uh, shape in here so just make sure like you're not selecting this uh, polygon shape that we just created so we'll go and choose lines and I'm gonna try to make a line like this by pressing shift it will uh, align it perfectly in here all right something like that and now by pressing ctrl alt t and I will go and by pressing alt I can make a copy like that as you can see all right now I'm gonna press enter so I can commit the change now by pressing ctrl shift alt and one click to T in here it will make the same change that I just created so I'm gonna press T one more time and as you can see it will repeat it for me alright now we have it in the same uh, layer in here 
purpose I'm gonna change the color to this red color again and I will go and open the layer side uh, dialog for this polygon in here and we're gonna try like to make the same uh, inner glow that we just created from here so I'm gonna go to inner glow I'm gonna change it to black and I will change the blending mode to multiply and I will put the opacity around 65 and I will put the size around 7 pixels and I'm gonna press ok and as you can see we have our uh, our logo in here alright so I'm gonna put it in a group so I'm gonna press ctrl J and I will call this logo alright now I'm gonna create a text in here so let me just first resize it a little bit I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller like so alright and I will go to text and the text I'm using it's called titanium regular you will find this in the link from the description below so just download it so I'm gonna go and make a text let me just put the size around 70 I'm gonna type the website all right and we're done with our front of our business card so I'm gonna call this Ctrl G and I will call this front and we'll have it in a, a group in here so let me just put the bleed in the top and you can see this is our uh, business card without the bleed now I'm gonna uh, try to make the, the back of our business card so we'll go and uncheck this front in here alright now I'm gonna create a new shape so we'll go to the ellipse tool and I'm gonna create this kind of curvy ellipsical circle in here Alright, somewhere like this. Uh, I'm holding space by the way to move my shape around like this. Alright, somewhere in here. I'm gonna change the color to the same red that we just used. So I'm gonna put 22% uh, in cyan and 100% in the magenta and 100% in yellow and 20% in black. Alright. Now I'm gonna uh, apply the same layer style effect that we just applied for our logo. So I'm gonna go and open the logo file in here. I'm gonna drag this FX by pressing Alt. I can make a copy of this FX in here. So I'm gonna press Alt and drag it in the same ellipse uh, shape that we just created. And as you can see, it will apply the same effect in here. All right, now I'm gonna drag uh, the logo and put it in the top so I'm gonna make a copy of it by pressing alt again I will drag it and make a copy like this I'm gonna call this back for logo all right I'm gonna resize it so I'm gonna press ctrl T I'm gonna make it smaller a little bit all right I'm gonna put it in here a little bit smaller all right somewhere that press enter I'm gonna change the color of our polygon and lines in here to the background color and the same for the lines we'll go and adjust the, the layer side for this uh, logo in here so we'll go and double click to this FX icon and then we'll go to the inner girl and then make the size around 4 pixel and the opacity around 40% all right now I'm gonna add a, a text in here so you can put your slogan if you want so we go and choose text again I'm gonna start typing so you just make it the top in here you can put your slogan in here I'm gonna press ctrl T so I can make it smaller and I'm using the same color of the background in here so you can just double click to the text and go and select this color in here and you know just one click to the background and it will match the same color that you have in the background all right now we're gonna just uh, add uh, the info text in here your name and everything else all right now now we go to text again and one click let me put around 20 points in here 
and I'm gonna change it to bold you know just in here just type your name let me just change the color to white color just type candle and I'm gonna make a copy of the same text I'm gonna put it under it and just type your job all right gonna make it smaller around 10 point I'm gonna change it to regular I'm gonna put it somewhere around here I'm gonna select them both I'm gonna press ctrl T make it a bit bigger all right I like that now I'm gonna start adding the icons that uh, we're gonna use for our information in here so we'll go to my shapes and they have in here four icons that I will use I'm gonna start with the phone I'm gonna put it around here you will find these icons in the pasty from the link in the description below so just download it and you find all the icon in there all right let me just make a guide so i can see all right so we go back to shapes again and i'm gonna use uh, the email design so i will create another one but make sure like you're not selecting the same shape that you just created all right so it will make it on uh, in their own layer in here all right something like so and i will go back to shapes again let me choose like make sure like i'm not selecting the shape by one click in here and i will uh, use the, the link this time now make it like that I'm gonna rotate it this one in here make it I'm gonna put it in here all right and I'm gonna add the last shape this profile address in here Right, now I'm gonna start adding uh, the, the information in here so we go and grab text again and here we go so now I'm gonna put everything in a group I'm gonna call this info I'm gonna select the three and I'm gonna press ctrl G I'm gonna make a group and I will call this bag and as you can see we have a bag folder in here and a front folder so I'm gonna press ctrl H so I can hide the guides and as you can see this is the back of our business card and this is the front and there you go so i hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and share this video and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching Yeah.